it really is difficult to overestimate the importance of the discovery that uh, we believe we've made this afternoon, the last day of July 2010. And uh, what I'm standing in front of now really gives a lie to this idea that uh, stone uh, megaliths are uh, hardly ever found east of the, uh, the central belt of Great Britain. Uh, we're in Norfolk and uh, we've just made a complete chance discovery of this superb five, six, seven thousand years old um, obelisk here. And not only one, we've also have our serious um, idea that uh, there is also another one lurking just a few yards in, in that direction. Um, it's an incredible thing, it's an amazing condition. Normally these things are, are broken. Um, and, uh, and, and, and wrecked, but uh, this one is leaning at a rather strange angle. Obviously, we haven't had time to work out the significance of it, but my theory is that this is based on the lunar calendar, which um, everybody knows was superseded by the uh, solar calendar uh, about four or 5,000 years BC, and I think we have a very rare survival from an even more ancient past. Um, some amazing, amazingly significant holes in the, the top of the obelisk there, and... Um, the, the, the lady who owns this property, uh, by pure chance, has actually found some, uh, some, some uh, lunar stones, which are very, very obviously lunar and feminine in principle, um, which we think could easily have fitted into those holes there for some kind of ritual purpose, for which we have absolutely no real explanation at this moment. But what you have to understand is this is happening as, as it happens. Uh, we have not had any time any time at all, thank you. My assistant here has just handed me the, uh, the, lunar, the lunar specimen here. I'm not going to offer it up yet. I think uh, we'll have to wait for a, another occasion for that. But this is live, and this is as it's happening. Um, it's pure speculation at the moment. Only a few months ago, an amazing discovery of a Neolithic stone circle was made underneath the uh, flyover at uh, Magdala Street, north of the city of Norwich. And for this to come on, come along so quickly afterwards really is quite incredible. Um, I'm finding it really hard to contain my emotion here. Who knows what other secrets this hidden secret garden, we can't, we can't give the location at the moment, obviously. Um, the significance of, uh, of this is absolutely mind-blowing. And um, I really am going to have to go home and um, have a pipe to think about this. I really